equal to 620 Brownie Jr. The camera production was February 1934 to October 1942. Price new for the camera was $2.25. This camera is part of my collection. The body type is box with cardboard and metal. The cardboard is leatherette covered. The red window on the back is for frame counting. The winder on the side is for opening the camera and for film advance. It is made out of chrome. The twin finder design in the front, one is for landscape and one is for portrait. You would look through the top if you wanted a portrait photo. If you wanted a landscape photo, you would look through the side. The shutter release is manual. You would push the lever to open it, and then you push it in the opposite direction to close the shutter after the required time has elapsed. The tab above the shutter is for the time slide. Using flood lamps for more light, pull out the tab as far as it goes. The tab on top of the camera regulates the amount of light passing through the lens. The strap post on top is chrome and it is also used to open up the camera. The strap also has the camera name imprinted on it. To open the camera, you want to pull the film advance stop out while rotating slightly. Once you have the knob pulled out, you want to pull up on the catch that's located on the top of the handle and slide the camera apart. This is where you would want to load your film. There's a sticker on it that explains how to load it and it also tells you what kind of film to use. This camera uses 620. The front metal plate has a geometric art deco design. It was produced after the main art deco period. There were two versions of the faceplate, one with the name on it and one without the name on it. Let me know if you feel like I should make more videos of other cameras that I have. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you.